Welcome to another Thrill Packed episode. Hello everyone. I'm here today to talk uh, about a few things that I think everyone's interested in. Uh, at least some people are interested in. Uh, the uh, four new fire stations. Um, right now the four new fire stations are in the final uh, design and uh, phase, uh, cost phase right now. The first station out of the ground is going to be the Sleepy Hill Station, which we're changing the name to the Kathleen Station. Um, and uh, we expect construction to begin on that station around February with completion around the end of the year, hopefully. The uh, other stations, the Nowcrest, Frostproof, and Loftman stations uh, will follow closely, be, cl uh, closely behind with the Loftman station being the last one uh, due to some environmental issues there with some sand skinks and also a, a pipeline that runs up and down 1792 there uh, that we've got to get some special permits to put a drive across that uh, pipeline. Uh, another point of interest, the Winter Haven EMS station uh, that a lot of you know, uh, we had a small kitchen fire there and uh, we're taking the opportunity to uh, basically do a complete remodel there at the station. Um, so that's uh, well underway uh, and uh, we've got some uh, pictures that uh, you might see behind me on the screen there. Uh, the completion there is uh, scheduled for about 30 days out and uh, I think everybody will be happy to get back into that station and it'll be, like I said, a, a complete remodel, all new uh, cabinets, tile, countertops, everything will be uh, brand new there so it'll be really nice when it's completed. Uh, another thing we can talk about are our new trucks coming in. Uh, I, I talked about this before. We've got two mini pumpers that are due in by the end of this month, January. Um, those mini pumpers will be going to Janfill uh, Station and the Saddle Creek Station. And uh, most of you are aware of those. Uh, we did the staffing for those and uh, uh, the January 13th is when the new staffing will, will take effect. Um, so yeah, uh, those will be in by the end of the month. Hopefully they'll be in service by the end of February. Also, we have uh, the four clean cab uh, E1 engines that are due in by the end of February. Uh, those will be going to uh, the Janfield Station, the Sleepy Hill Station, the Loftman Station, and Nowcrest Station, the four new engines. So usually once we get them in and they get out, it takes about a month or so to, to get everything uh, ready to go on them. So hopefully we get them by the end of February and they're out on the road by the end of March. Uh, another uh, uh, little bit of informational tidbit of information, we've had some emails and some questions about the pay raises. Um, the pay raises for the collective bargaining unit um, will take effect the pay period of January 13th, which means you'll see those on the paycheck of January 31st. If you read the contract, it says the first full pay period of January, the raises take effect. So the first full pay period is actually the January 13th pay period. Um, also, in kind of talking about that, the vacation auction, people have been emailing asking about when the vacation auction is going to open back up. It will open up January 13th once all of the new moves in Telestaff, the station assignment moves, take place. If I try to open it now, it'll grab the old locations, the old stations for everybody and it'll uh, mess the auction up and we would have to redo it again. So January 13th, I'll be opening the vacation auction and it'll be open for around two weeks. And I'll send out an email to everyone to uh, let them know when the auction's open and when they can start uh, putting in their vacation requests and then I'll let everybody know when it closes up. And that's all I have for you today. So if you have any questions, just email us and we'll send out another video.